SNPs as physical markers. Single nucleotide polymorphisms or SNPs, commonly pronounced as SNPs. They are single base pair positions in a genomic DNA at which different sequence alternatives uh, that may be called as alleles, they may exist in a population. Okay. कोई भी डीएनए का सेगमेंट जो कि एक इंडिविजुअल से दूसरे इंडिविजुअल में प्रेजेंट होता है उसमें सिंगल बेस पेयर जो है वो वेरी करती है और इन जो सिंगल बेस पेयर की जो वेरिएशन होती है विद इन अ पर्टिकुलर डीएनए सेगमेंट इधर इट इज अ जीन और एनी अदर सेगमेंट दे आर कॉमनली कॉल्ड एज एसएनपीज आर सिंगल न्यूक्लियोटाइड पॉलीमॉर्फिजम्स नो इन रूटीन लाइफ Uh, organisms they may be exposed to different environmental factors or chemical mutagens that may introduce uh, base pair changes that are commonly called as mutations in order to differentiate such rare mutations from snps uh, it has been suggested that the allele frequency it must be 1% or higher taaki isko jo rare mutations hoti hain उससे इसको डिफ्रेंशिएट किया जा सके नाउ डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ न्यूक्लियोटाइट वेरिएशंस दे कैन बी कंसीडर्ड एज स्निप्स और एस एन पीज बिकॉज मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम दिस टर्म इट इज यूज्ड इन लूज सेंस फॉर एग्जांपल, इन केस ऑफ सी डी एन ए द सिंगल बेस पेयर वेरिएशन दे मे बी कॉल्ड एज सी एस एन पीज बिकॉज इट हैज बिन सजेस्टेड दैट दे आर शोइंग द अंडरलाइंग अंडरलाइंग जिनोमिक डी एन ए सीक्वेंस इन द सेम वे इफ सम एडिशन आर डिलीशन इज देयर दैट आर कॉमनली कॉल्ड एज इन डेल्स दैट मे बी द रिजल्ट ऑफ एडिशन ऑफ द बेस आर रिमूवल ऑफ द बेस दैट आर कॉल्ड एज इन डेल्स they can also be regarded as snips and the most common type that is detected by restriction fragment length polymorphism uh, they are called as the snips if you remember uh, we discussed that the 0.1% genome is variable from one human individual to another and these small variations they can influence the target sites for this different type of restriction enzymes so that after digestion with particular restriction enzyme we will get a particular or characteristic bending pattern so that fragments they will be separated depending upon their lengths on agarose gel electrophoresis there are some other instances where two alleles they can be differentiated on the basis of their phenotype isme jo disease hai jo ke aap matrix se ya fsc ke courses se bhi padhte aaye hain ki sickle cell anemia isme aapko yaad ho ke there is only one substitution of the amino acid ke jisme jo glutamine hai it is replaced with valine because here that one nucleotide base pair is replaced with an other and it can change the sequence of the triplet code and in uh, in place of glutamic acid there is valine and a disease is resulted which is called as sickle cell uh, anemia so it is not going to influence the phenotype of a particular trait but also uh, it can uh, change the restriction site of the enzyme के सेम साइट जो है एक न्यूक्लियोटाइड के चेंज होने की वजह से एक एंजाइम की रिस्ट्रिक्शन साइट भी चेंज हो जाती है सो वी कैन एक्सप्लेन इट विद द हेल्प ऑफ अ डायग्राम सो दिस इज अ सीक्वेंस दैट इज शोइंग सिंगल बेस पेयर सब्सिट्यूशन एंड इन द अपर स्ट्रैंड हेयर टी ए बेस पेयर especially in upper strand like thymine three different possibilities are there that this thymine it may be replaced with either cytosine 
adenine or guanine and if it is replaced with another base like here pose a central one the enzyme site which is called as mst2 restriction enzyme its site will be influenced like here in the lower diagram which is uh, diagrammed in a circle a three amino acid sequence has been shown like uh, proline then glutamic acid glutamic acid and here a is replaced with t here in the lower strand t is there in place of a so that now in place of glutamic acid there is valine in the center so you can say that uh, the beta globin protein it is now changed in sequence that can result in sickle cell anemia snps they are very good physical markers uh, for the mapping the reason is that they may be present uh, in high density agar hum human genome ko consider kare to har hazar nucleotides ke baad ek uh, SN, snps uh, you can expect so in this way uh, it has been reported that there may be 300 uh, 3 million such cases and even now uh, more reports are there that have increased the number of snps so because of their density they are good marker uh, for genome mapping now different methods have been used to detect single nucleotide polymorphism that may be based on enzymatic reaction where we can use different pcr reactions we are again going to discuss again and again some pcr techniques that we have already discussed that may be related to rflp aflp rapid that is randomly amplified polymorphic dna and some other pcr methods and then uh, some electrophoretic method can be used uh, where the dna fragments they will be isolated on the basis of their length and some chromatographic technique where the dna molecules they will be uh, separated either depending upon their melting temperature and here the most common technique that is used it is uh, denaturing high performance liquid chromatography or dhplc and here if single base pair substitution is there in the double stranded dna molecule that may vary from one individual to another although some other methods are also available and here liquid chromatographic technique can be used so if two dna molecules they are having the same length same number of nucleotides even then uh, after denaturation they can be separated on what basis on the basis of their melting temperature as is the character of snps that there is single base pair a variation in a particular gene or genomic dna segment if uh, one base it is changed it will also influence uh, the melting temperature so that two dna molecules they will be uh, differentiated so uh, snps they are good markers for genome mapping